Hello my friends, in this video I'll show you how to install Code Igniter on your local machine. I hope you, are, you have installed uh, one of the, the PHP development environment on your local machine, either WAMP, LAMP or MAMP on your machine. If you are not uh, installed that one, uh, I, I, I have given instructions to download and install those things in the description of this video. And I have started WAMP server on my, my Windows machine, then I'm trying to download code igniter so it says google I'll, I'll try to search on code igniter and it will give me the code igniter.com and this is the so top uh, right corner you can see the link to download the code igniter and you click, click it and download actually i have already done that one it's, it's like a one um, for 3 mb size uh, download i have already did that so i directly go to the, my downloads and it's there, coding matter. I extract that one. Okay, take some time. So it's, it's around uh, around 4 MB, and uh, it will be really uh, easy to extract. And I think you can most probably there are a lot of subtitles available. And after you have extracted that one, you can copy this. Uh, code igniter folder and you go to the your the vamp install go to the c vamp and www and just copy this folder and i'm trying to rename this one into some kind of some some name i can remember it's code igniter it's, it's not actually a, it's hard to type uh, rename it to ci okay cool. code igniter and try to see whether it's working or not on my browser local machine Let's say localhost slash ci. Okay, it's working. And now code dignet has been installed and it's, it's really working. Actually, my font size is a bit small and I can increase that one 100%. Okay, cool. Now, this is the code igniter, the home page, once you have installed uh, directly. That's it. And I'll show you uh, so how you can uh, install code igniter. That's the only thing you need to know, don't worry. So, in the couple of videos, I'll, I'll go to the theories and other stuff. And I have mentioned uh, the editor called Sublime Text 2. You can download this from uh, the Google. You can search it Sublime Text 2. I use uh, for the, all the tutorials and all the videos in this um, course. And you can also use that one. And either you can use uh, some kind of editor you are already familiar with. You can download from here. So that's it. So we have installed Code Igniter. And it's very straightforward. And uh, from the next video onward, we can get start using coding matter. Thank you.